as we are counting down to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's United States visit, there the Indian diaspora is preparing for the Prime Minister's visit. Prime Minister Modi is set to visit the United States of America at the invitation of U.S. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden. The visit officially starts from the 21st of June. Prime Minister Narendra Modi leaves on the 20th, that's tomorrow, and he will be in the United States till the 24th of June. Now, the visit begins in New York, where he will lead the celebrations of the International Day of Yoga at the United Nations headquarters. And this will be uh, on the 21st of June. After that, he'll travel to Washington, D.C., where he will receive a common ceremonial welcome at the White House on the 22nd of June. And he'll meet President Biden to continue their high-level dialogue. The U.S. President and Jill Biden will host a state dinner as well in honor of Prime Minister Narendra Modi the same evening. The Ministry of External Affairs um, has given out these details of the schedule. Now... One important question on uh, our minds right now, why is this visit by Prime Minister Narendra Modi significant? Well, a state visit signifies the highest level of honour that's accorded to very few global leaders so far. That's what the Indian side has been saying till now. And they also say that very few world leaders have addressed a joint session of the U.S. Congress twice. Remember, several um, previous prime ministers, including uh, the former prime minister Manmohan Singh, had also addressed the joint session of the Congress in the United States. But Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the first Indian prime minister to do that twice. So these are the reasons why this visit is significant. In fact, my colleague Namrata Brar is now joining us from New York as we are counting down to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit. And Namrata, tell us what you're seeing there. How is the United States of America preparing for Prime Minister Modi? I think virtually it's a red carpet being rolled out for Prime Minister Narendra Modi here in United States of America. And that tells you that the relationship with India has not seen incremental changes, but monumental changes. So whether you look at the United Nations, where I'm standing, where the prime minister will be leading a group of uh, representatives uh, from 180 countries on June 22nd to flag off his first official state visit, or whether you talk about the fact that President Biden uh, will be personally having a private dinner uh, with Prime Minister Modi or in the uh, joint address to the Congress, where he's uh, only uh, one of the rarest leaders to be addressing this twice. Uh, this follows the likes of, the, of Winston Churchill, Nelson Mandela, and uh, Zelensky. So if you can see the might of the U.S., uh, uh, what they call is diplomatic flex. It is clearly in India's favor right now. We've heard a whole spate of reports, including Morgan Stanley talking about uh, the big changes that India has made over the last decade. But I think all these messages are a warm embrace by President Biden. The fact that you are getting these rare privileges also are emblematic of the position that India has managed to achieve in the global order. And this is not just geopolitically, it's economically, it's militarily. It is obviously uh, a two-pronged main reason. One, as a counter to China, uh, but it has gone beyond that to many other relationships of mutual significance. Right, and Namrata, when we talk about the significance, tell us what uh, India stands to gain from this visit. Of course, as you've mentioned, that uh, um, uh, India does would hugely uh, like the United States support in countering China, but on the other side, their economic ties that are important as well. So what are the things that India stands to gain from this visit? I think India has very um, importantly maintained its independent entity uh, in global diplomacy. And we saw this very visibly with India's uh, positioning around Russia and Ukraine. Now, in previous years, U.S. would be uh, extremely disturbed by that kind of messaging. But now we see India being lauded for being assertive in the global uh, political sphere. And I think from that side, um, it is important that India uses this leverage to its benefit. Obviously, India wants a lot of Make in India initiatives, particularly in the defense, AI, uh, technology space. We heard about semiconductor packaging taking place and mega investments there, but we do want to extend it to more on the manufacturing front, uh, which will open up 
major doors because China so far has been uh, sort of the base for U.S. to have this relationship. And if it moves away from those uh, China and Southeast Asia as the modus operandi of this very important component, which has important, uh, also important defense uh, connotations around it as well, then uh, we will see a major win for India at the end of this visit. Uh, there will be enough dialogue from India's side as well about food and energy security. Mm. These are issues that Prime Minister Modi has brought up on many international forums. He's expected to bring that on G20 right. later, but also over here. All right, Namrita, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, that was Namrita Brar joining us from the UN headquarters there in New York, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi is going to be a day after tomorrow for the International Yoga Day celebrations, kick-starting his official U.S. visit, as we pointed out how this visit is significant for both India and the ties with the United States.